Hey guys, this is Graham here at TheRecordingRevolution.com. Hope you're having an awesome day as usual. Today I want to do a real quick video to show you how to hook up an optical ADAT, like 8-channel mic pre, into your Digi002 or 003, or really any audio interface that has that ADAT port on the back. So a lot of us maybe have a rack unit audio interface that has this ADAT in on the back, and we're like, what is that for? And one of my readers asked me, hey, I thought that was just for ADAT tape machines, and I don't use those. And I thought that was an old school thing. But they're a super awesome light connection that can send eight channels of digital audio in one plug. So right here I've got the uh, Behringer 88000. This is just one example of an eight channel mic pre. And mic pre's on the front, and in the very back, it's got one cable out, light pipe out. So this can hook up to my Pro Tools rig with one cable. And all you need is an ADAT optical cable or a toss link cable. It's a really thin, super simple cable, super cheap, that sends a laser beam basically from this box to your 002. So let's take a look at the back. I'll show you how to plug it up and how to get set in Pro Tools. So here we have the um, 88,000 sitting right on top of the Digi002. And again, this is going to work with a 003 or really any audio interface with an ADAT input on the back. And so now we're looking at the back of the units. And all we're really going to do to make this work is take the ADAT optical output of the Behringer and run it to the ADAT optical input of the 002. So you simply grab your Toslink cable, and right up here it says 8-channel digital I.O., run the output of that, take the other end of your same cable, and run it to the input optical on the 002. And that's it. It couldn't be any easier. And then the only other thing you want to watch out for is setting the right sample rate and clock. Um, this, either on the back of the unit or the front of the unit, in this case right here in the back, you can choose the sample rate. 44 1 or 48 and if this is going to be the slave or the master so to connect these two because they have to be synced digitally you want to make sure that one is going to be in charge of the time and so in this case I want to make the Behringer unit um, the master and I'm going to have the 002 in Pro Tools sync to it and follow along so I have it set to master 44 1 and I'll show you in Pro Tools how to set that up so that your 002 follows along and they work together in perfect harmony. So over in Pro Tools, you want to make sure you've got your interface plugged in and your 8-channel preamp hooked up and powered on. And we're going to simply go up to the Setup menu and choose Hardware. And this is going to bring up a dialog box that shows you over on the left what interface you're using, in this case the 002 and then you can set the clock source and like I was mentioning earlier the clock source is which unit is going to be the source of keeping time the easiest way to do this is to make your 8 channel preamp that you plugged in the clock source so we want to use optical instead of internal internal would be the 002 optical would be whatever's plugged into your ADAT optical input in this case the Behringer unit and pretty much with the clock source set you can click OK and now when you open up a new audio track to record, you can access all eight of those pre's. Choose the input, and you've got eight at one through eight, which will now be available to you, not grayed out. And when you record, you won't have any weird pops or clicks or anything because you set the clock source properly. Again, Pro Tools and the 002 know to follow your ADAT input as opposed to its internal clock. And that's it, guys. Hope that helps you guys out. Um, again, this is Graham here at TheRecordingRevolution.com. If you have any other questions about how to hook up uh, an ADAT mic pre into your audio interface, shoot me an email, send me a post. But it couldn't be easier. Hope you guys have a great day. Keep making music.